today. I am gonna stew some potatoes, make some hamburger steak, and make a good salad. I'm gonna show you how to make croutons in the air fryer. So I'm just taking red potatoes, I've already got them washed, and I'm going to cut them up and put them in my pot, and we're just going to simmer these with some water. So we're just going to throw them in our pot and get them on the stove. I'm just going to cover them with water. Good. Make sure they're all swimming. So we're going to turn this on. Get that started. We're going to do hamburger steak in here. And so I'm going to let these simmer a good um, five to six minutes before I start my hamburger steak because you want everything to get done at the same time. So while we're waiting on these to start boiling, we're gonna go over here and cut up some croutons. And I am gonna put a lid on it, because that always makes it faster too. So I don't have my bread knife down here, so we're just gonna use a steak knife, because you want it to be serrated. And these are just cheap steak knives, so. I'm gonna take two pieces of bread and uh, make us some croutons for our salad. It'll be really good. This is a thick slice, multi-grain, artisan bread made by Nature's Own. I love it. You can see how thick it is. It's got a lot of seeds and stuff in it. We're gonna make four salads. So two pieces of bread this size would do two, sa two salads. So, I mean one piece would do two, so we just use two pieces. So those look nice. Now we're gonna get a bowl. We're gonna put this in our bowl. And I bought some really good dressing, so I'm gonna get it out of the refrigerator. And it is Panera bread, balsamic vinaigrette. And so we are going to toss it in a little bit of this. Shake it good. Shake it up Okay, and we're just gonna pour some in here. And if you've got some Parmesan cheese, you can sprinkle on them too, but I don't think I have any here. All right, that's good. And you're just gonna put these down in there and kind of get them away from each other a little bit. All right, let's get them in this air fryer. Yummy. And I'm just going to turn it on. It'll only take it about four minutes at 350 degrees. So I'll just watch it. Now we're going to slice up some onion really thin for our meat. And I'm going to go ahead and slice a little bit for our salad too. some really, really thin for our salad first. That should be enough for our salad. And then we'll slice them a little thick for our milk. And I'm only using half the onion. I'm going to use the other part for another meal. Those have been in there three minutes. 
gonna let it cook a couple more minutes, at least two or three more minutes. They look good, they smell good. Okay, so for our pepper, Gonna cut up some really, really thin for our salad. I will say that. Just a little rock. Okay. I just bought uh, 80 20 chuck that's already in patties. So we're gonna make four tonight. potatoes have started to boil and we've got this front eye going. I'm going to turn it back down to about six. So we're going to throw in our peppers and onions. A little butter. I'm going to throw in a little butter. We're going to throw in our peppers and onion. Separated. Good. I'm hungry. And last night we went out to eat and it was okay. I'm telling you that nobody cooked like you can at home. as simple as a hamburger steak. All right, we're gonna put some black pepper in here. Some onion powder. And this is a little bit of roasted garlic powder. I like it. It's just got a better flavor than just regular garlic powder to me. And it's uh, Badea, and it's really affordable. And we're going to put some salt in here. So, while we're waiting on this meat, look around my kitchen. I got to hang up a couple of things today. Me and Chris put the stainless steel uh, backsplash on the stove. Um, we got that off of Amazon, and I do have a link for it if y'all are interested in getting you one. I really like it already. I'm sure it's going to take some uh, upkeep though, since it's stainless steel. Oh, ah, let's see what we got. Looking good. Maybe it's starting to get a little soft. I'm going to scoot them out of the way so I can flip the meat. And you can see how the blood's coming to the top of that meat. So it's perfectly time to, to flip it. And after they simmer a few more minutes, I'm actually going to turn them up and get them really nice and charred. But I want the veggies to the I love this house. I'm excited. All right, I think these are ready. We're gonna put them off. Get out our potatoes.
going to put some butter in these and toss them. And we, I don't think we have any sour cream, do we, Chris? Some butter and salt and pepper in them. That's all there is to it. Plain old potatoes. All right, when I do a salad, I stick the dressing in the freezer and the salad in the freezer. This this is thoroughly washed already, and that way it's going to be really, really cold because that's what's so good about getting a salad from a restaurant is that the leaves are always really cold. And it just tastes really good. Toss in our dressing. And we're going to throw our croutons on it. And don't over do on the dressing. Just, you know, let it be enough to make it taste good. So down here, we don't even have silverware because I don't want to buy extra silverware and then have too much. So we are using plastic until we move officially. I've got lots of it. So I'm going to taste my supper for you guys. I hope y'all had fun tonight watching us cook in our new kitchen. I'm trying to be kind of be quiet because it's um, echoes in here. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear the crouton crunch. Ready? Mmm. They're so fresh. It's so good. You're used to getting croutons out of a bag. Even the ones in the restaurant aren't good anymore. So, make some croutons. It, they're wonderful. Oh, let me show you that bread. Here's the bread. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.